I am here to talk about something I watched. I watched this whole box set. Primetime Panic from Fun City Editions. I have no idea. I'm not sure if this is still available or not. But I've had it for a while and I finally sat down to watch it. So if it's not available, maybe, maybe you, like me, ordered it and got it and just haven't bothered. Well, I'm here to uh, let you know that you should bother, <clears throat> which you probably already knew. Um, but all three movies were good. The first one um, is a movie called Freedom. Freedom. And I, I went into all this completely blind, just knowing they're sort of, I, I guess on some level, made-for-TV movies, and all three of them have an uh, option between... 133 and 185 so um i assume they just shot them 185 and then you know they made sure uh the framing made sense for tv 133 right like that's how that works but the 185 from for the most part did not contain i don't think i noticed any like stuff that's not supposed to be there so i think uh, the frame was clear Although I didn't watch, I watched Freedom in 133, and I watched the other two in 185. So this was just a really, um, you know, it's basically about a mother, or a daughter and a mother, mainly the daughter and their relationship. And, you know, the daughter's a minor, and she's really strong-willed and very talented in certain respects, but also just like a troublemaker and very good at getting into trouble and not very good at uh, towing the line or doing what she's told or anything like that. <laughs> so of course, um, in the most stereotypical fashion, she runs away with the circus and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm not gonna give away not that there's anything really to spoil, but that premise could be fine. You know, it sounds like it could be a TV movie premise. It definitely is. Um, there are other movies like this, I'm sure. But uh, the way this is executed, it's well worth watching. And I didn't really, well, I recognize the mother. Um, definitely. But yeah, the mother. Jennifer Warren. Yeah, she's in Night Moves. That's right. That makes sense. And Slapshot. And Mar Mary Winningham. I don't know how to pronounce her name. M A M A R E. It's either Mary or Mare Winningham. Uh, from I guess Miracle Mile and Saint Elmo's Fire is the daughter. And they are the main characters, really. And there's a lot of others, but anyway, well worth your time. Um, it's really, you know, as far as TV movies go, it stands out pretty good, I thought. Next movie I watched is Dreams Don't Die. Um, <clears throat> this one has the kid, I think his name is, yeah, Ike Eisenman. It's the kid from Return to Witch Mountain and Star Trek II. Right, or escape, not return, escape to Witch Mountain, that's right. But definitely his face is, like, I remember him from that, definitely. Um, <clears throat> and he's like a, like a street artist, basically. Also another kid who's not very good at doing what he's told. He's an orphan, and he's got this sort of girlfriend, I think, who's also an orphan. And she gets caught up with this, uh, really interesting character and then there's uh, Paul Winfield shows up as a cop trying to like push them all in the right direction and it's very good and there's some very uh, touching moments and tragic moments and you know it's like how, how do these kids get out of the hole they're in nowadays they probably wouldn't be like I mean it's like two white kids in New York I think you would probably uh, do this differently now, I think. So it's kind of cool to see this this way, I think. Uh, anyway, it's well done, also very good, and a lot of good acting. So and the writing is very good too. So there's really nothing to complain about here. It's uh, yeah, watch it. <laughs>
last but definitely not least we have death ride to osaka okay in case i didn't put up dreams don't die there it is i think i did anyway death ride to osaka is uh well the main point here is it's jennifer jason lee is the main character and she gets she's like an aspiring actress and she gets uh goes to a job interview basically she's working in a diner so she's trying to get some kind of work singing and uh, well, not an aspiring actress an aspiring singer i don't know why i said actress singer <laughs> and uh she goes to an interview and ends up um, getting a job and signing a contract to go perform in Japan. And it turns out uh, she basically signs herself into like prostitution type white slavery in, in Japan at one of these like hostess club type situations and uh, you know didn't realize what she was doing so it's just the story of her getting stuck there and it's jennifer jason lee so she's got a ton of attitude and personality and it's just a young one a young version of her so she looks also at the same time very innocent but then you know if you know who Je you know jennifer jason lee if anyone could handle that situation it's her right like so perfect perfectly cast and um so you get a nice combination they it looks like they definitely shot some of it in japan and uh yeah once again all three movies well worth your time and they all have bonus features and um it's a full package man i don't know why i waited so long to watch it but once again prime time panic if this is lang lingering away, lang whatever the word is, rotting away in your in your collection, don't let that happen. Uh, watch them, watch them. Double checked. So prime time panic, prime time panic, which is released by Fun City Editions, which I think I forgot to mention, which is one of the sub labels on Vinegar Syndrome. One of, one of my favorites personally um although they're all they all have interesting stuff in them um it's still available uh, i think uh, for 59 let me double check it's either 49 or 59 yeah 59.99 well worth it and there's at, as of this moment you know 947 left out of how much did, how many did they make they made 2500 so it didn't blow out completely yet but that's not gonna last people are gonna buy that and it'll be gone so go to vinegar syndrome.com buy it there um if you're a subscriber well, i don't even know yeah it's probably too late to uh yeah it was last year i think when it came out so that's it yeah 59.99 maybe at the next sale <clears throat> halfway to black friday sale pick it up then if you uh i don't know if it'll be on a deeper discount or not but it's worth 59.99 i'll tell you that fun city editions vinegar syndrome.com primetime panic